So in this video, we'll be looking at the higher GCSE topic of velocity time graphs. And apologies about the joke, I will stick to maths. So before we get started, let's go over some key words. So speed is basically how fast something is traveling based on how far it travels over how long it takes to get there. Velocity is similar to speed, but it takes direction into consideration. So for example, positive velocity means you're traveling away from a place and negative velocity means you're traveling back. And distance is basically the total length traveled and displacement is the actual difference between the starting position and the end position. And acceleration and deacceleration is basically the rate of increase or decrease in speed. Now, before we get an understanding of velocity time graphs, it's really important you know the difference between speed, velocity, distance and displacement, which is what we're going to go over next. Now, the best way to look at explaining the main difference between distance and displacement is kind of like by starting off with a diagram. So let's say I'm going to just highlight just a few areas. So here, let's say this is home. Let's say this is school. And let's say over here is the park. So in terms of dis distance and displacement, so if I just call a yellow as distance and green as displacement that one way to kind of describe this is this so let's say i'm going to start at home and i'm going to go to school and let's say school is three kilometers away and so i've traveled there then from school i'm then going to go home and and then going to go to the park and the park is let's say two kilometers away now let's say a question asks you is how far have you traveled so how far uh, so what let's say what is the total distance the total distance traveled from home to the park okay so in total the total distance I've traveled well I've gone three kilometers then I've gone another three kilometers to go back home and then I've got another two kilometers so that's going to be three plus three plus two which is going to give me a total of eight kilometers now if the question asked me what was the total displacement so what is the total displacement from home to the park well looking at this that the total distance is going back so if you imagine this is going forward and going to the park is going in the opposite direction of where school is this will be a positive now because obviously you can't have negative distance because you can't have negative lengths that this here would be minus two kilometers so the total displacement here would be minus two kilometers because what it does it takes into consideration so minus basically means you're going further back to what you were so if you imagine you're playing golf and you hit you can't have negative distance but you can have negative displacement so basically you've hit the um the golf ball and it's actually gone behind you rather than ahead and if you think to yourself that's not possible it is definitely possible when i've played golf before so for example let's say i'm teeing off there and let's say i slice the ball so much that even though the flag is over here that the ball ends up there so you could see that it's actually further away from the hole then that would represent negative displacement so displacement actually takes into consideration the direction which is why you can have negative displacement now negative velocity is basically meaning the speeds so velocity is like the speed equivalent so displacement and distance are both related to length but the signs of it relates to the direction as well and that's quite higher level to kind of understand but it kind of makes a bit of sense as well so i can see here that i've deleted a few of the letters of some of these words so let's go on here and let's just get rid of all the rest of it now 
So here in terms of velocity, so again, velocity is very, very similar to speed, but again, it takes into consideration. So for example, if I'm looking at the speed traveling from home to school, then that would be a positive velocity. And so would going in this direction from school to home, then that would also be a positive velocity. So because I've classed home as being like my baseline. However, if I'm then traveling to the park, then that would show that I'm going in a negative velocity and also going from the park to home would also be a negative velocity. But obviously the numbers would get closer and closer to zero. So this would be greater than zero and this would be getting closer. Sorry, heading up. Uh, let's not use inequalities because I'm going uh, wrong with that. So here we're going, a velocity is going away from zero. And this one, V is getting closer to zero. And this is where V is getting close uh, away from zero. Oh, actually, I've done that the wrong way around. So we've got zero further away. And here is where V is getting closer to zero. So it's all the signs of the speed is taken into consideration whether you're going further back to where you started from or going there. So it's not necessarily going back because technically, if you imagine like a, a, um, a time distance graph, like here is your original starting point. So this is your start or this, I say this line is your start and this point here is your finish. So here I've gone to, let's say the shop, I've stayed a bit of time at the shops and then I've gone back. So let me get a different color. And um, so it makes a bit of sense. So here, this is my travel to the shop. And then stayed still because I've not traveled anywhere. I'm just walking around the shop aimlessly. And then I'm heading back home. That's fine. But if then I then, then go beyond and continue going in the opposite direction, then that would show that I'm then we're going in a opposite direction. So that would be a negative distance. But as you can't have negative distances, that's where displacement comes in. Now, in terms of key formulas that you need to be aware of, and these are two special things that we definitely need to make a note of when it comes to this. So displacement is equal to velocity time multiplied by the change in time. And acceleration is the velocity divided by the change in time. And again, the key thing to remember is when you are dealing with a velocity time graph, that velocity is goes along the y-axis and time is on the x-axis. So let's have a look at an actual graph. So looking at this, here we've got a typical velocity time graph. Now, the key points are what's sort of highlighted in the boxes. And then let's get a different color to what's shown on that. Let's go for green. So as you can see, the gradients, or the key point is that the gradient of a line on a velocity time graph equals the acceleration. So if a question asks you to work out the acceleration, let's let's label these points. So let's label this A, this is B, this is C, that's D, and this point here is E. So if a question asks you to work out the acceleration of A to B, so if I just write acceleration of A to B, then what I'd need to do is work out the gradient between A and B. And again, how do I do that? Well, I draw a triangle and it's gonna be this length here divided by this length here using the scales or whatever the velocity is measured in and the time units for there. And if a question asked you for the acceleration of B to C, so acceleration of B to C, then again, what I'll do is I draw my triangle and I would do this velocity length here divided by this length here. Now, remember when you're doing this, don't count the squares, look at the units and you'll take away this number from whatever this number here would be. And likewise, when it comes to D and E, you would then work it out. Now, when your line's going up, now again, if I just get rid of this, because you can see that we've got a lot of distractions on the uh, graph. Oh, do you want to get rid of that B? And so when you've got a positive gradient, then that basically means that you are accelerating. 
However, if you've got a, a, a high a positive gradient, then that means you're accelerating even quicker. And if you've got a negative gradient, that basically means you're deaccelerating. And then obviously, if you've got a flat line, a horizontal line, it means you've got a constant speed. So it doesn't mean that you're resting. It basically means that you are traveling at a constant speed because you're not accelerating. So here, if you imagine what we're talking about here, so if you imagine like a car, so imagine that you're going to school and you, you, you let's say, um, you a bus, let's call it a bus. I'm just trying to think of how, whether those of you that are listening to this are old enough to drive. So let's say you're on a bus and or your parents or your guardians are taking you to school we'll talk it a car because i feel as if i'm rabbiting on now so you're in a car traveling to school so here you are you drive at a constant speed or you're driving at a, an increased speed and then you look at your watch think oh no i'm gonna have to hurry up so then you proper start speeding up and you put your foot down on the accelerator you think right okay that's fine so then once you know that you're okay back on time you then stay at a constant speed and then this line here from D to E basically means that you are slowing the car down. So you're putting the foot off the pedal and it's going on there. And that's what it is. So basically, treat the velocity time or the actual lines on a velocity time graph as you putting pressure on the accelerator. So when it's flat, it just means that you're not applying any pressure to it. You're just constantly just at a steady speed. And there you go. You know, you haven't put like, your foot down. It's it's actually just at a constant speed. Now, the next thing to look at is displacement. Now, as we talked about, displacement is looking at distance. Now, to work out displacement on a uh, velocity time graph is you actually need to work out the area under the graph. So if I just get rid of this, as it's moving a bit of a distraction. So the key thing is, is that to work out the displacement, that equals the area under the line. So for example, if I want to work out the displacement, so let's go for here. So if I want to work out the displacement of A to B, then that would be this triangle here. So what I'd have to do is work out the area of that triangle. If I wanted to work out the displacement of B to C, then what I would have to do is I would then have to work out what the area of this trapezium is going to be. And if I wanted to work out the displacement A to C, then I would simply add those two areas up. Now the displacement of, I'm going to get colours, so the displacement of C to D, which I'll shade in pink, is going to be this rectangle here. Now the key thing you need to remember is that again you're not counting squares, you are looking at the units on your y-axis of the velocity and you're looking at the units of the time as well. And so that'll be the area there. And finally, and let's look at color we're not done. Let's go for blue. So the displacement uh, of D to E, which we'll highlight in blue, is going to be this big triangle here. Now, if I want to work out the total displacement of A to E, then I would add up the area of those four shapes. Now, you can have, obviously, as we talked about, you can have negative velocity and negative. So negative velocity would where your graph goes below the axes. And obviously, you can have negative displacement, which would be where your area is below the x-axis. So that's where you can come across negative, sort of, if I just do a little sketch. So if I had a graph that looks like this, and I had velocity going here, and then it go, went like that at different points. So this line here and this line here would both be negative velocity and this area here would represent negative displacement so it's not a case of if your line is going down it's a case of if it's below the x-axis below your timeline and again, obviously, you can't have negative time, but it's the velocity um, measure that can actually be negative.